Hello and welcome to this taste challenge. All right, I already poured the, the beers. Uh, I was trying to beat the refrigerator from cycling on, but you know it has to do that. Then the AC started cutting on, so I cut that off. I'm gonna get hot, but I'll, I'll let it come out on a little bit. Um, okay. Schlitz and Budweiser. Um, well, I'll be able to tell them apart. Not in appearance, of course, because they're both fizzy yellow stuff. I already poured them. Like I said, I had to cut the camera off and reshoot it, or restart it, I should say. Aroma, I would think that the Budweiser is going to have that um, rice aroma. It does have a ricey aspect to it. And the Schlitz have a little tiniest hop um, resin to it that I find the Budweiser doesn't have. Now, which one do I prefer? From memory, neither. I like them both. I go with Schlitz because it's cheaper, okay? Um, they're about a tie, so I think in value, Schlitz is a better value because it's cheaper and it's comparable in quality. Okay, um, of course you're going to find Budweiser practically everywhere. Schlitz, it's spotty. It's a hit or miss thing these days. Forty years ago, they were both everywhere. Schlitz, until 1976, was the number two selling brand in the United States, and then they went into their downfall. Budweiser's still in the top three or four, top three, right? Bud Light number one, Miller Light, or is it Chorus Light or Miller Light number two, Budweiser number three, Miller four. Well, there, you know, those are your top. Schlitz isn't even in the top 20. <laughs> Might be in the top 50, but I, I don't know if it's in that even. So the aroma, Bud, Budweiser's 5%, Schlitz is around 4.7. They don't say on the website. I'm going to give you a whole lot of information. Uh, this is a, Aroma here is clean, <laughs> maybe a slight hop resin, not a whole lot in the aroma, but you don't get a whole lot with these. Same thing here, but maybe I'm picking up a little of the rice, maybe. Let's go with the taste. bitterness at the end, your grains, a little corn I think I'm getting, maybe that's rice, I don't know. <laughs> Not a big difference, honestly. <laughs> Like I say, tie and taste more or less similar quality, shop price. That's the lesson for today, shop price. Yeah. This has a rice taste. You ever boiled rice and ate it? My mother used to fix it for us. Boiled rice with a little salt in it and butter, like a piece of butter in there. And we melt it in there and eat it. You know, with meat or something on the side, and of course, always greens. But we used to like, and people said that's a northern thing. People up north eat, eat rice and butter. I said they might do that, but we always did, and we're not up north. So I'm going to call it Budweiser Schlitz. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I think Schlitz has enough of that little, that little hop action going on, that slate. Little, little tiny bit of citrusy, lemony hop note, and they've dialed it way back from appropriate. They've appropriately dialed it back from a few years ago when I thought they were trying to turn it into an IPL, and I didn't like it. Now they're back to their game. It used to be over hopped. Yeah, this is this is the the good Schlitz. <laughs> Prickly carbonation on both of them. Same with Budweiser. People will say from time to time to me, don't you find Budweiser's changed a lot? And I say, uh, no. I, it tastes the same to me as it always tasted since uh, February 96 when I started drinking beer. And uh, the body's the same, the finish is crisp, clean, refreshing. I, I, I've noticed literally no difference in Budweiser over the years. So, okay, I got it right. I thought I would probably get it correct. I think the next one I'll do is either an ice beer challenge or I might do um, 
Schlitz versus Coors Banquet. That sounds like a good uh, a good one to do. Bottle or can? That's a variable, but I, I don't think it matters. It's a it's an immaterial variable. I don't find canned beer tasting different than bottled beer. Uh, people claim it is, it does, but do a blind taste test. You're probably not gonna be able to tell them apart. Picking up new metallic. Thanks for watching this video production.